today's video is all about uh, filling fuel up for the first time in your car now if you get the opportunity I say this at the beginning if you get opportunity with your instructor then take it because it's worthwhile it might take a few minutes out of your lesson but it'll certainly give you the confidence to go in there on your own so this is aimed at anyone who wants to know how to fill up so on the dashboard down there I can see on the um, on the right hand side it's um, it's, qu it's quite low and um, you can see the miles average miles is 39.1 miles per gallon and um, I think I've got about 52 miles left on the um, in the tank now that's just an estimate so don't go off the estimate if you've got a computer because you're talking it could be 20 miles out so um, when that light comes on saying you need to fill up then fill up because I remember when I was a young lad my first car I'd always wait for the lights to come on and one time wait for the lights to come on driving up an hill to the petrol station and it cut out driving in and luckily it just rolled in otherwise I'd be asking people to push it in so let's get some driving and um, let's get going so I'll try and give you some tips uh, for new drivers so that there's there's different types of fuel you can get like normal un unleaded or super which is mainly for sports cars or high performance cars it's the same for diesel there's diesel and super diesel so some uh, pump firms will give it some special names but it's the the supreme ones mainly for the performance cars but uh, if you've got a car like mine you just need the standard stuff the cheaper stuff you don't need the, the expensive stuff so it's about a minute away and um, you need to know where your, your your actual filler is, where you put the fuel in. And they're usually at the rear of the car, on the left or right. Mine's on the left hand side. So when I do pull into the petrol station, I'm going to be giving myself um, on the left hand side of the pump. So, I, so as I drive, it's going to be on my left. And let's move off here. And you also want to be going slowly into these places because they can be quite chaotic. You know, especially on a, on a hot summer day um, when everyone's going out for a, for a day out somewhere they can get filled up pretty quick and I'm gonna put maybe about 10 20 pound in which is probably average what more people put in but you can you can do it either by credit card debit card or cash if you're gonna take cash make sure you got some loose change because if you go for 10 pound and it's 10 pound in the penny they're gonna ask that penny they're not gonna let you off of it and if the worst happens and, and you forget then <laughs> I'll tell you about that in a second actually so yeah we're going in, in here and it, it's the price by the way on fuel stations does vary a lot this one's saying 122.9 for regular unleaded which is what I'm going to go for I'm just slowing down for second gear coming in a little bit of snow in the air and I'm looking across seeing what pumps are empty I'm going to go to the far side where it's a bit quieter It's taking me time because it can get busy now I'm gonna pop in first gear now and just as I'm bringing it in you can see there's a steel barriers protecting the um, the pumps and a high curb the, the curbs quite high give yourself about a foot and a half from from the actual curb so you can actually open the door and get around the pumps and you can see the pump here the, the green ones for the unleaded and you've got two green there so you've got green and so you've got green unleaded and super unleaded and then you've got two black ones which is it's going to be diesel and super diesel, which is like, say, performance ones. So I'm going to get it so it's at the back. So I'm going to drive past it a bit. So it's at the back of the car. It's easier to reach. And then we're going to fill it up. Now, like I say, when you're filling up, just take your time. So when you're filling up, don't rush. That's the important thing. So first thing you do is take off the, the, uh, the cap for the filler. So unclip it. Usually that's what happens on most cars. Inside it tells you what type of fuel you've got there if you're not too sure, mine says unleaded and anti-clockwise unscrews it. Some have got a key to do it, but this one's an easy one. And then choose the, the colour code, which is green for unleaded. Make sure you push the nozzle right in before you start pulling the trigger. And you can see on the left there, I'm just putting in, you've got the four types of fuel going across from left to right, unleaded, super unleaded, super diesel and normal diesel. So I'm putting unleaded in, not stand stuff. Or regular they call it 
and with you filling up there, it's quite hard to, to control how much you're going to put in. So as you get towards the um, the amount you want to put in, start releasing some pressure on the trigger, and it will start slowing down the, the amount of fuel you put in. That that much pressure you put, the faster it's going to put in. Twenty pound thirty three, and then obviously put the trigger right into the machine to to cancel it. And if you've got any spillage, which I did, get some gloves on. Get a towel which to provide and wipe it up. Don't just leave it because it'll, it'll mark your car. And then you see on the bottom there on the ground, there's this sand on, on the ground there. The sand provided, by the way, in, in most special stations. So, yeah, clean it all up and it's easier than dispose of all the rubbish like the litter. And uh, don't forget to close the cap. So, let's have a quick look. We've got 193 miles and it's just over half a tank, £20 worth of fuel I put in then, or £20 and so many pence. So, remember, if you're paying by cash, just remember, um, take some pennies with you. And it's one of the ones where the, it's a bit like a, a gas pedal. The harder you pull the trigger, the faster it's going to put the fuel in. And the slower you release it, the slower it slows down. But it's quite tricky to get it spot on. So, take some pennies, you can pay cash, debit card. And if you forget your debit card or you've got no cash on you because you left your wallet at home, don't think they're going to let you off. They're going to ask for some kind of um, identity off you or some kind of something to leave behind as security. Uh, I remember once I actually, uh, this is a funny story here, quickly at the end, I actually um, drove off without paying for petrol once about five years ago and uh, they rang me up five minutes later. Mr. Travis, uh, yes, uh, it's, a, it's a petrol station here, can you come back and pay for your fuel? And, and what it is, I, pay, I put the fuel in, went into the service station, bought some food and forgot to pay for the fuel. And they looked on the cameras and see my, my headboard saying Travis School of Motoring on it and um, that's what they've done. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, I'm on my way back. Dead embarrassed about it, I was. And, and my first time actually, going back, this is not the first time, when I first started driving, I uh, put, I think it's £10 of petrol in and uh, forgot my wallet. Went into the place and apologize. I'm sorry, I, I've, I've lost my, left my wallet at home. I need to go and get money. Right, leave your road tax, he said. Road tax dish. Now, we haven't got road tax dish, so I don't know what I'm going to do now. So it'll be interesting what they're going to do now. But I went home, got my money, paid for it, got my road tax this back. So, if, like I say, uh, you do do that, just tell them straight. And, 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 if, and if you've put the wrong fuel in, don't start the engine, because it's going to put the wrong fuel into the engine. Just don't move the car. Go into the service station to say, I'm sorry, I put the wrong fuel in. I'm going to have to get the um, RAC or AA or whatever to come out and, and siphon the fuel out. It's going to cost you maybe 50, 100 pounds to get it done. But if you start that engine, it's going to put the wrong fuel into the engine. It's going to knack the engine. And it's going to cost a lot more. So um, remember them little tips. And if you like the video and you think this is helping you, click like and see you next time.